Hello, everybody. Welcome to another day of C-Val here on the Saints broadcast. We've got top 16 today. I'm Fundy, joined by Rare Adam for the first time in a long time here for some Valor. We've got the Saints coming up against MSU Green Michigan State University. Adam, why don't you tell us a bit about this matchup and, you know, just a bit more about, like, this whole C-Val bracket in general, right? For sure. I mean, one of the major things to keep in mind is that this is the third, the final C-Val qualification tournament here. All of these teams are vying to get into that finals, nationals, as they'll call it, top 32 across all four regions. Right now, St. Clair are in an interesting situation where they have a decent amount of points from the first couple of broad or the first couple of rounds there, mm -hmm. but... They really want to try and get one of those auto qualify seats. They want to be among those top teams. They want to make sure that they are getting as good seating possible for the national tournament because it just takes all these teams from all over the country, the 32 best Valorant teams, pitting them up against each other. And with LAN only being top three, you really need to try and push as far as possible there. Get through that single elimination bracket. Get through most of that double elimination bracket to potentially book your ticket to LA. So still a lot of work for them to do, but nonetheless, going up against MSU Green, they've been consistent in the top 16 at the very least, but not much further than that. Saints should have a relatively easy time dealing with this opponent, and you would hope that they have an easy time with this opponent moving in to the top eight, hopefully by next weekend. Yeah, you talked about the point system a bit as well. So obviously, yeah, you make it to top two, uh, top two in this next phase of the bracket after this whole single limb, after the double limb, and then you auto qualify. I think there was what four schools from uh, a few of these brackets yes. that have already made that auto qualification, and then yeah, the point system kind of just that backup. That yeah. uh, okay, we didn't make it into that top two, but you know we've placed third and fourth at a few of these and our points have been racking up. I think U Waterloo we looked at is one of those schools that is really high up there in points right now with two third place finishes from the past few CVAL events. So that's going to be a big one. We do have maps for today and it looks like they're going to be a uh, pretty similar setup to what we've seen previously. Split Ascent Haven. Yeah, no surprises here. This is sort of your Neo classic coming through from the side of these two teams. Main thing to keep in mind is that, you know, defense going to be sort of that real bastion on split specifically. Ascent a little bit more of that even map, and then, of course, more attacker sided on Haven once you get there. But honestly, this is a Saints team that has played very well on split in the past. They played very well on Ascent from time to time as well. Of course, we're not getting that Lotus that they love to pick up. We're not getting any of those uh, odd maps here and there, like the Icebox or the Fracture. It's yeah. very, very stock standard, well-practiced maps for both of these teams in St. Clair. They want to just take out any variance potential. They're going to just take them to the classic maps here. Yeah, and I mean, it's the collegiate special. That's what we like, like to call it around here. It's, yeah, those three pretty well launch day maps, beta maps. Everybody knows exactly how these maps are going to play out. But one thing that is interesting, one thing we've been seeing more recently, especially from the Saints, from Caillou specifically, is that Gecko pickup on Ascent. Want to see if we do make it to Haven, if they pick it up there, because they've pretty well just neglected the character on Split. Seems like it's just not going to be the right map for that Gecko. And you already see Saints insta-lock that same comp they've been running here on Split for a long, long time. Yeah, and Split's one of these maps that you have very set comps for. There's not really a whole lot of variance there. The main thing that I'm interested to see is that, you know, Sushi picking up that jet, it's sometimes more ideal to go for something like a raise on this map. You see those satchel lineups that you're able to get onto A side a lot quicker. There's the fade picked up on the opposite side as well as their initiator. But of course, for the side of the Saints here, it's something we've seen so many times from them before. We know how easy it is for them to switch between agents here. No, M's playing Killjoy. At the beginning of the year, we were seeing him pull up the Duelist, and we saw him on some more of those initiators. Now going back to the Sentinel in this situation here. Of course, Seth on the Viper as well. This is just everyone shifting over a position because, hey, why not? You can you have that agency to do so. Yeah, and it's been like that on more than a few maps. We've seen Sushi come in pretty well, just take that main Duelist role as of the past few weeks. On the jet, 99% of the time, amazing on that jet. Plays it out so well. But like you said, and we had talked about this yesterday during the split game as well, Ray's usually that more, more popular pick, I'd say. More consistent pick uh, on split, to say the least. But the Saints 
other than that jet, they pretty much run that stock standard comp. I'm actually more interested in MSU right now because they've picked up the Sage and the Fade, which is two two agents that we have seen on split before. The Sage is definitely the interesting one here to me. Yeah, yeah. and Sage is not the worst case scenario on split specifically. You can wall off mid. You have a couple of interesting walls that you can throw down if you want to get a little bit more aggressive, but it just sort of segments out the map. And with how important mm -hmm. mid control mm -hmm. is on split, it can definitely sort of hold that back a little bit there. But you're giving up the Viper for that is the thing. Viper, look at that Viper wall already set up from the defense from Seth. That Viper wall we saw absolutely tear apart University of Nebraska Lincoln yesterday in five to six rounds, separate rounds there. We start off pistol. Looks like they just want to head straight up ramp on this attack. Sushi finds that first one. Trade it out with the paint shells though. Yeah, Taco going really quickly up there, trying to find as many frags as possible in that raise. But of course, traded one for one, Duelists off the map here. Realistically, it doesn't bode so well for MSU. They want to have that entry potential. Now, are, are rotating over. Ricky James Bond, though, Ooh. finds a couple on the Sage. This is another interesting Sage wall on the attacking side. You block off the sort of short entrance to B. You're able to find your plant. Now, 4v2 situation, Seth going to have to try and hold some of these angles down. Swarm's already getting pushed through. But you can see on that left side, Sage still lurking. Caillou here, he spots out Ricky James Bond. He is able to get the headshot there through the barrel as well, through that box there. Flash, guiding light, it's not gonna land on anyone. He's dealing with three players here, one right on that bomb. You gotta spam it out, but the frenzy a little better in that close range when it's got full auto and a full clip there. That's gonna be pistol round taken by MSU Green. Yeah, and really good plays from Ricky James Bond there. Wall going down, quick execute onto that B site. Really quick rotations over. I think caught St. Clair a little bit off guard, and they're feeling good about their situation here. Of course, when you've got this raise, you want to try and find those early frags. And if you're able to take out Sushi, who is normally seen as someone who will aim check a lot of these other players, it's a good sign for your future. But of course, as always, very interesting to see how the thrifty rounds go. You have to be able to execute on these anti-ecos here. Just They're going full shields. They're going for these specters. They don't want to take any variants with those bulldogs. The just round two vandal in that situation. Yeah. You're just going to play it as safe as possible to sort of survive this round as well, not get them any gold the opposite way. Oh, not any credits the opposite way. Man, any gold. we're league to, players too much, here. Too much league casting recently as Frog. Exactly as we expected, those shields actually coming through in handy there. That would yeah, have been al alive with light shield, you know? So two kills. Yeah, 100%. And now you see this team. Three players start to flood up mid here. Mail room going to be pushed Ooh. in by Ricky James Bond. There's a headshot towards Garage, I believe, from Caillou there. But now this B site looking wide open. <laughs> M's last line of defense is kind of what you're expecting on these pistol rounds. Now, though, he's picked up a Spectre. 74 health to his name. Comes down these stairs, you gotta expect one there. Ricky James Bond finishes that off. Two rounds straight. This is when the Saints really need to get in gear because now you've got rifles in hand, you've got buys to your name. Can't be dropping this round and dealing with a 4-0, 5-0 in the next few. Yeah, the biggest thing about pistol rounds and you know the first couple of rounds of each half is they can be a little bit more variable. It's not mm. always a skill check on pistol rounds. It's more so about your strats. Sometimes MSU or any other team in that regard can just come through with a strat that the Saints aren't expecting as mm -hmm. much. Now in this situation, you've got that weapon rate advantage. You are expected to win this round. You are expected to find a little bit more value and hopefully keep a lot of these rifles in tow. But this Viper wall, as you're talking about, just buys so much space for them to creep up mid. It really catches MSU Green lacking a little bit here because they can't just push through or counter with their own Viper will to potentially lurk up. You've got to use a lot of util to try and clear out these angles. This dog, though, going to catch out multiple members of MSU Green. Yeah, and it's just the sheer amount of time Ooh. that wall is up. 20 plus seconds there until it drops. Now Sushi's creep down off of that ledge. He's past this little barrier. He is going to find one. Fade's going to fall with a headshot. Now throws up the Ooh. cloud burst for himself. Sprayed down by that Spectre. It's going to be a one for one. Take up. Not going to be able to pick up that rifle just yet, though. They're running for it. He, he does grab it in the end. Or no, I think it's still on the ground there. Might have picked it up there. He's still got that yeah, specter. Not he gonna did be not grab it. Up. 
but nonetheless, it's a decent amount of damage down as well onto the Sage. One of the major changes from Sage recently, her heal, not so good on herself, better on her friends there. Sort of brings alive the pocket Sage dream in a lot of ways, but uh, Ricky James Bond has been anything but that thus far. Now the execute onto A site here for Tappen, holding the line for the time being. Gotta win these gunfights. That's one, that's two, that's three picked up by the Saints here. Frog, last bastion of defense, but Caillou will clean it up. Really strong round from MSU to take three rifles out of their hands, but nonetheless, it is still the Saints finding themselves their win on the buy round. Yeah, once they try to flood out of that Viper smoke screen there, you kind of realize this is how we expect the round to go. You see the kill feed start to pile up with a lot of Saints kills, but honestly, Frog grabbing those two back at the end was huge for that. You see the Saints now, a few of them have nothing to rebuy rifles. They've got Spectres, they've got Bulldogs, and after a round win, they're not sitting pretty in terms of buys. MSU Green feeling a lot better here this round. Round. Saints are fairly close to a few ultimates though. And we see that judge come through as well. We've seen it time and time again from the Saints. They like to just hold these rat angles, look for the plays, and hey, if it works, it works. You know, yeah, I'm not gonna knock the rat strats if they work, but at the same time, you know, always sort of a little bit more infuriating when you get taken down with that judge. I like this setup though from MSU Green. They're opening up the map a little bit more. You can see playing towards these extremities, leaving the spike back down there, looking to execute onto this A site, but for tapping in that corner, this is going to be pivotal. You have to watch out for the Astra lurking in the corner here. She'll drop that smoke, she'll try and pull multiple members in, and that judge is so lethal in close range. Yeah, we've seen this more than a few times here on the Saints broadcast. A judge around a corner that leads to absolute devastation. We're going to have to see if four tapping has what oh. it takes. He jumps in, he finds one, he's spraying him down. Look at the damage though. Look at Frog, look at Takeup. So, so low, vulnerable from the Viper utility as well. M's going to finish that one off as now he just gets to hold Heaven bait out that Prowler and the rest of MSU, they have to take a completely different approach to this round. Yeah, Puffy's found an angle up through vents here, but the Sage going down means that you're losing a lot of that agency. M's holding a really tight angle. They're able to find the kill as well. Still has a little bit of health to feel confident enough to peek into someone like Frog. Cactus, though, going to be trying to rotate back around. This timer is ticking. They don't really have a reason to save in this round unless you want to try and carry rifles into the next but you're going to be missing out on some utility you're going to be missing out on topping off those shields in this situation they're just going to have to hold their line for now and saints finding themselves a really clean second round here only person who goes down is the judge the homies will be able to just buy them back up with rifle this round yeah the amount of damage done with that judge was really the crux of the round there and don't get me wrong i think after that damage they definitely could have cleaned out the rest should msu have just decided to keep pushing onto that site, but you have to rethink things. You have to look towards the future. They're going to keep two Vandals in hand, but now you're on a tough, tough buy here for MSU because you're facing more rifles and you got three sheriffs to back you up. Maybe a stinger if Puffy is going to go through with this buy. Looks like he will, but as of right now, you could just lose these rifles in this upcoming round and that save would be all for naught. Yeah, and, and the real reality of it as well is the fact that you've got you know, half your team on full buys, half of them on sort yeah. of these random guns picked up here and there. It means that your economy is not going to be equal moving forward. You're going to have to potentially go through two save rounds in a row or go through a half buy here and there to try and clear it up. Caillou pushing up aggressively here, able to take down Cactus. That was one of the rifles from the previous round and very likely didn't rebuy up those shields all the way. Did end up falling to that. Now Ricky James Bond trying to find one. Has picked up a gun for themselves though. Got to use that res as well and all of a sudden the numbers advantage goes back the way of MSU Green. That is a big, big trade from Ricky James Bond there and the res just makes it so much sweeter. You even out the numbers and now you bring it to a player advantage no more ultimates available from msu at least for the foreseeable future there is still a lockdown alive from ems right now he's going to be hunkered down towards that a side frog is actually over there right now towards ramp that's going to be the showstopper popped from msu takeup's got this in hand there's nobody on b to even find this they let it go free, waiting for that plant. Puffy's going to drop it now. Will they try to push in right now? Are they going to wait for M's is the real question. And Ricky James Bond on a little bit of rat angle on top of the wall there. M's going to have to rotate over. Linking up with the rest of the team. 
Interesting situation where it's 3v3 on site for the time being. You can see how far away Frog is, but with that Astra, you have that global presence. Here comes the lockdown, though. Going to force everyone back into long here. It actually covers off the back of site as well. So they're all going to be forced into the same angle. This is exactly what the side of St. Clair want. But they have to pull the trigger now. That's a pickup on to the Sage. Now, this Ray is going to be detained down. Going to be forced back here. They actually haven't found the Ray's quite yet. Take him and sort of hidden themselves away. They will just they end up being there. an issue. There's one one picked up, two picked up, and that will be the round win for MSU, just barely by a sliver. But everyone goes down, no one's got anything moving into the next round. If you are a St. Clair, you're okay with that round win, because as we mentioned, the economy not going to be so hot from MSU Green. Yeah, listen, the economy is one thing, but at the same time, you see one player detained and nobody turned around to check that corner. You're just like assuming, I mean, you know that detain is going to go eventually. And yes, Seth was inches, pixels away from that defuse, but sometimes that's not enough. You have to clear out those players. Just because he doesn't have a gun in his hand for one second doesn't mean he's not gonna pull it back out. Jacobs somehow hides himself away in plain sight and carries that round through for MSU. Kind of bringing them back in terms of economy. Now you can be a little even with the Saints in terms of weaponry. Yeah, and actually, it, they were able to afford a full buy just mm -hmm. barely as well, and both sides sort of in the flux once again, very much akin to a round four situation where you have this. It's now coming back around on round six where these teams not really even out on the buys, and it sort of goes back to them saving on that round four, saving a couple of rifles, having a little bit more firepower coming the opposite way as opposed to a full save. Nonetheless, buying space up mid once again. M's able to find a pick onto Frog, but with a minute left, you can see MSU starting to explore the map out here a little bit more. Kai going to drop those Seekers and this will reveal that the jig is up. They're gonna have to back off, potentially look towards A where M's 30 HP. That's a pretty easy target takedown if you can find him. Ricky James Bond right now. You talked about Pocket Sage earlier. This is more of a battle sage oh, yeah. right now, bringing it back to some Overwatch because Jacob takes down M's at eight as well. That's gonna be, I mean, realistically, he heard that audio cue from the orb. New M's was gonna be around that A area. M's caught out a little bit. Ooh. Sushi <gasps> and the squad here up in heaven. One player push Jacob. has pushed on to site. That's Ricky James Bond. They spot out his Jacob. head. Seth finds it as well. You gotta Whoa. remember about Jacob. He pushed far, far into screens there, but look at where the spike is now. It's gonna be hard for Cactus to really push forward into that one. Tie up the score. That's the Saints gonna be taking it 3-3. Yeah, really well played round from the side of Saints to hold the line, to hold those rifles in tow. And now the buy potentially goes more in favor of them. They can find potentially a fourth round in their favor. They can find a little bit more in the inventories there. If you can bring up the scoreboard, we'll be able to see exactly what they've got on the opposite side, but very likely just going to be classics, a stinger here and there, a frenzy. Not a whole lot of anything here for the side of MSU. Yeah, it's just... Basically, no shields. They're looking to try and steal away a gun or two here. But very likely, Saints, if they can hold a line here, they'll find that advantage and potentially start to snowball this game just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. That's what they need. You need that little push to be able to start that snowball getter going. Get some kind of like economy lead, some kind of round advantage, right? We've been seeing very, very back and forth gameplay because somebody like Take Up oh. or Ricky James Bond will come in and just start tapping heads. M's, that is. He's gonna find that track. That's three. That's four. Shorty out. One more heaven. Will he be able to find this? Cactus takes down Caillou. Might be able to pick up a gun, but MC needs one bullet. That's the ace to finish off round seven. You take the round advantage now. M's holding down the B site. <laughs> Coach Hyper He's there. Him. He is him. Himothy on the sage right now. Yeah, I mean, honestly, M's. We talked about how they were sort of the duelist at the beginning of the year, shifted around saying, you know what, I've still got the aim that those duelists require here. They kill Joy. Five. Finding the Joy in these kills as well. 13 and 5, lockdown back up and available after using it, what, two rounds ago here? Ems is having the time of their life right now. And Ems has sort of been sort of that bastion of hope here for the side of SEC, despite all the roster changes, despite everything. Ems has sort of held strong being in that position for this entire season have to hope that they can continue this trend and you want to see them succeed as well getting into the top eight at the very least and potentially further internationals yeah of course but you got to take it one step at a time one map at a time here and right now mid looking prime for these msu members not if that guiding light is going to blind up too that's going to give a little bit of information over to caillou 
and Seth up there in heaven as well. That's a, you know, a duo that we've seen hold more than just a two-man push down before. Oh. And starting it off, Caillou, perfect little sidestep there into the angle and a quick headshot to boot. Yeah, great angle picked up there. See Caillou just pre-firing a lot of these angles. They hear a couple of those shots come down here. Seth gonna clear that out. This one way is so brutal though. Big. Stop practicing this earlier. Seth gonna have to back out though. Takes a lot of damage, but look at what's done to the opposite side. The raise from Takeup. The killjoy as well on MSU's side. Puffy and no health to work with. Now one shot apiece. They'll be done though. Great guiding light once again. Seth finds one. Caillou finds one. Takeup and Frog able to switch back though. But that raise has 16 health. Sushi still holding back this back sight. And it looks as if they're just running out of time. Where's the spike? The spike's still mid. Yeah, they're just holding this oh. one down. Who's mid there with it? Frog. That's going to be one for one as Takeup. No time. He's going to take down M's and trade it back out. There's oh. no time available. Forget about that. Four tapping finds the kill, a heaven. Yeah, unfortunate timing coming through from Frog. Turned away right as Four Tappen was able to come through the vision field there. Nonetheless, once again, another save coming through from MSU. This is what we talked about. The snowball starts to build and build and build. Once again, M's going back to the judge and Sushi. More than enough credits to potentially buy up here. But hey, you know what? Don't mind me. I'm just going to be going into these old strategies here. The economy is still looking quite good for the side of the Saints. They should be able to buy up at least another round if they are to fall this one. But it all comes down to how well Ricky James Bond can land those headshots. It's always been this Sage sort of aim checking everyone on an agent that's not normally known for their aim. Specifically, you know, I play Sage, my aim's crap. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, same here. I mean, I don't play Sage as much, but my aim's definitely crap. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> nonetheless, <laughs> I mean, moving into this one, right, I think the judge pick is a big one because oh, they my. know that they're going to be on some kind of eco. Whether they try to force out and buy something like Stingers or it's just these sheriffs. Oh, Seth. M's got an idea. Seth creeping in this Viper oh. pit. He pushes out. Puffy down in sewers. He's going to fall. Get to pop that wall back up, move back into your Viper pit, and oh. M's right now on A site. Two down. Look at the bodies piling up. Doof, doof from the judge. Yeah, this judge is the executioner, as well as possibly the grand oh, jury. Doof, That's doof. three picked up for M's, and now 20 health and a dream for Cactus. Unfortunately, they may be turned into prickly pear juice. Gonna find one at least on the way out for tapping. Gonna need more than four taps there as he starts to shoot randomly at the end. But nonetheless, hey, it's another round win for the side of the Saints here as they start to build the snowball up. The economy going very heavily in their advantage. And despite the judge, they still find three rounds. Very good time for a timeout, though. I think not it's even, expected. Not even despite the judge. More like thanks to the yes, judge. Yes, of course. They find three rounds. M's, not only is he just playing that corner, so slippery, so ratty, as we like to say here in, in FPS games, but also, you know, MSU kind of playing into it a little bit. The first take up dies starting of the round, five seconds in, he dies up ramp. And we see a second player follow that. I believe it was Ricky James Bond there. He followed that one up eventually and you find yourself lying there on the ramp, lifeless, no gun to your name as the rest of the team falls to the might of the judge. Yeah, you know, you mess with the bull, you get the horns, exactly what happens there. Sort of pumps through the judge. Multiple shots. What is what is? Yeah, M's Hi doing the Ibert's he's doing, doing the judge. M's M's doing the doof doof from yeah. the judge. Uh, Ibert's just jumping around. He's having a good time. Yeah, he. I mean, we'll have other teams on stream, and Hybrid will still be jumping around the stage. Oh yeah, in some in some capacity, right? He's just a uh, you know likes to be a character there, but uh, we we love the guy. Yeah, but. Look 16 at the, and 6 on M's right now. And look at the alts available as well. Keeps this round judge. could have 9 alts available. Ricky James Bond, 1 away. Everyone else on the side of MSU Green have it. And especially when you're sort of in this hole, your economy is not in the best of situations, and you've got a full buy. You've got a pop and take up going all in on the Caillou. That's an alt off the board already. Sushi, though, lurking up through the Astro Wall. Going to be finding one there at the very least. Going to get out of dodge really quickly before they get into trouble. This Astro Wall just sort of blocking off a little bit of area, buying some space for the plant here. Take up to find that. Nonetheless, 4v3, still three ultimates available for St. Clair. They need to try and pull the trigger on this. That is the first tool that you can use to succeed. 
That Killjoy ultimate just gonna force everyone out. Puffy's looking for it though. They wanna try and find it on the opposite side. Ems goes down. They find a lockdown as well, and this is going all wrong for the side of St. Clair. 2v3 situation for tapping in the smoke. Sushi looking through heaven, trying to find the right angles. But where are these members? Only one on site. Take him way back in screens. Sushi's gonna have to do a whole lot of work here. Unfortunately, MSC were able to find him out. Good use of those ultimates. Only two of them used, but they came to great effect for MSU Green. Beautiful start to the round there. They find their way onto the site, they find those initial picks, you use the Cosmic Divide, works out perfectly. You know, execute from front to back exactly as planned, they find themselves around win there. Puffy on that flank as well, it was actually pretty big just shutting down that lockdown, going through events, taking the time, you know, it, one and eight right now, play for the rest of the team. You're playing that Killjoy, kind of your job, and you're sitting there on attack, right? There's not, there's only so much an attacking Killjoy can do, and a lot of it is uh, based around the post plant, to say the least. Take Cub flies in, but oh. no accuracy in the air there. Sushi picks up two in response. Yeah, Ricky James Bond gonna pick up Cactus as well. So at the very least, it's two kills, but a res ends up evening it out a little bit more. But nonetheless, a little bit too aggressive coming through from Take Up. Maybe wasn't expecting two members to be there. Ends up splitting the uprights there. But now the lockdown comes down. Gonna shut down a lot of this site. This is a great Astro ult in return, though it forces them back. It gives Caillou the option to sort of sit in this back corner here. Cleared a lot of that utility. And now, potentially, you can find someone lacking. Caillou finds one. Sushi finds their third of the round. Saints are holding their line effectively. Puffy going to find one in return, though. And with Caillou so low, you've got to be mindful of him. The Sky finds a second one, breaking down the wall. Puffy finds a second, but Ems arrives at the scene. The ambulance comes through, and it was for MSU. They get picked up, thrown down to the hospital. They lose that round. Man, sometimes you got to feel for some of these Valorant players, oh, yeah. though. We flipped over to Puffy there. This guy was like concussed, flashed, walked out of a smoke. There's a, <laughs> there's a, a snake bite under his feet, a sage wall to his right, and three saints absolutely yeah. barreling this guy down. It's a, it's a tough break for uh, being a Valorant player sometimes, for sure. But at the same time, that's just kind of... It's kind of just how this game has ended up, right? It's very, very utility-heavy, very ability-based. And as much as amazing gun skill is going to get you really far, you do need a team to follow you up. And that's where the Saints definitely have that covered. You've got Seth there providing all the mollies, providing all the smokes, all the control you can need for tapping as well. And, of course, Ems... With the gun skill, with the Killjoy utility, you've got a bit of stall, you can't... I mean, it's just a well-oiled, well-rounded machine here. Yeah, and MSU, after that early push in the first couple of rounds there, it seems as if the wind has sort of gone out of their sails. they got to use some of these ultimates here. Fatal going to be clearing out Heaven. Sushi holding strong despite being decayed, despite being marked up. They know exactly where this jet is trying to sit. Ricky James Bond, will you find the angle? No, you will not. Sushi's there to answer, but take up Ricky James Bond, able to find a couple kills in return. This is MSU's time to shine. 4v2 situation, 4v1 situation. Ems Ubu going to have to come through with the round of their lives here to try and clutch this one out. 1v4 situation, you're playing the Killjoy. You don't have a whole lot of tools to get back on the site. Last round, you're just looking to try and stop this 7-5. Looking for an 8-4 for your team, but MSU wants that 7-5, uh -huh. and they are in the position to get it. Ems, yeah, you peek out one little pixel there. Takeup's been holding that for years. And that's going to be a 3K from Takeup as well to finish off the half. Nice showing from MSU. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be 7-5 for the half. MSU starting off with those pistol rounds, but for the Saints going up 6-3, 7-5 feels pretty good. Feels okay, especially after you lose the first couple of rounds there. You'd mm -hmm. much rather be in a position like 8-4, 9-3, 10-2, just from winning those pistols and snowballing off of that. But we've seen them win pistol rounds before, this time on the attacking side. I want to see how this works out. The Sky, quite good on the attacking side at just sort of covering these angles, setting up for Sushi to peek aggressively. And while you've still got this Viper and uh, Killjoy that might not have the best setups on the attacking half. You still have a lot of agency with those agents to sort of push through. Whereas Ricky James Bond, you wall off one spot, you leave. That's all you can do with that Sage. That's true, actually. He only really has so much with that wall. Even someone like Viper, you put down the wall, you can activate it multiple times in that round. Yeah, it's going to be in the same spot, but you have that agency. And when it's somewhere like A or somewhere like mid, this could just be used for so many different utilities during this round. Ooh. He peaks Vent. Sushi's going to get taken down by two. Caillou 
is gonna find the one cactus. Uh -oh. What is happening right Ooh. now in vents? Cactus picks up a second. Saints down a player after all is said and done. And M's looking for these body shots, looking for these headshots. The frenzies are going crazy for tapping. Last line of defense, Frog 19 health, full health from Puffy here on the Killjoy. Yeah, a little bit of a sus play in vents there, unfortunately, for Tappen. Just gonna try and move around a little bit there to find an angle. Fake the plant down. Where will they end up going? You can see this angle being held by Puffy. Four tapping though, still has a lot of health. They're fully aware of where four tapping is. Do they expect two members there? No, they don't! But it doesn't matter. Four tap and 4K with the frenzy going absolutely crazy with it. That's a way to win a pistol round. That's what happens when you got one player with 19 health and a frenzy in hand. Pistol round, you talked about it, you know, being more of a show of strats, less of a show of skill in that first one. That was a show of skill right there, if I've ever seen it. Win the 1v2 spray transfer on a frenzy of all things. Yeah, fantastic stuff there. And despite the cactus in the vents being a little bit too prickly, finding a lot of damage for Tappen, holds strong 4K, calling their own number once again. Now, you've got to try and figure out what these strategies from MSU are going to be. Very likely, you're going to see these shorties, these ghosts come through. Trailblazer are not quite going to find anyone here. Sushi will find one, but Frog, good to trade that one out. You want to try and play a little bit cleaner here if you're the side of Saints. You don't want to be just handing over a lot of these bonus weapons. Yeah, that's a big thing. You can't be just tossing them over to MSU Green there. We actually do some start to retreat back from mid a little bit. You're one for one right now. You don't really have much intel on this defense. Still waiting for that prime opening. Look at B site right now. Obviously no intel for the Saints to really know that B is wide open, but all it's gonna take is M's to start walking through, start clearing a few angles and Suddenly, B might be looking prime. MSU tried to make a bit of a call. Now you're just going to be looking at a 4v4 on this retake, most likely. Yeah, that's a tough retake when you've got, you know, pistols. You don't have the best of buys there. We saw the shorty picked up as well from Cactus. But this Phantom, that's really where I'm keeping an eye on. You want to see how much damage this can do. Puffy trying to peek that. Absolutely no chance there. Astro, that's a, that's a very apt line for that peek right there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, Ricky, Ricky James Bond. Bond. He tries to do a bit of a jump peek here, maybe bait somebody in with this shorty, but you've only got a shorty. The only thing in close proximity is a second shorty. Four tapping finds that one, moves back to be heaven, finishes off the rest, and right now the Saints up, up to say the least. Nine to five now. We move into the 15th round here. Yeah, and four tapping went from bottom of the scoreboard to almost the top of the scoreboard here. You know, seven and zero to start off this second half. You can see they're calling their number a lot in the strats and everything as the IGL. And while it's a full buy coming back the opposite way, MSC once again need to stem the bleeding. They need to try and find some answers to what St. Clair have been cooking up. And now this Astral Wall already online. You are not expecting it this early, just splitting up this A site, dropping down. And now they're going to go very aggressively here, knowing they haven't stacked this site. Sushi already in touch here. Ricky James Bond, the rest of the crew trying to come through. But Cactus and Puffy are here to answer the beck and call. Taco and Cactus finding Puffy. it. What was that spray? Just threw the smoke, finds an extra one. And all of a sudden, Things go a little bit south. Puffy coming alive. 4K for the Killjoys. These Killjoys have been pretty crazy coming through in through this game. Through the screen, through the smoke, Why everything. Not? Puffy just holds it down. Every single Killjoy in the... All right, every single. There's two of them. But both Killjoys in this game right now have had amazing rounds to show us here, especially on that defensive side. Of course, where the Killjoy is going to be shining there. Holds down A and... You know, that was the exact same setup there with that Cosmic Divide that MSU destroyed Saints defense with. And MSU just held it down. Saints tried to give it back to him. MSU was not having it, specifically Puffy there. And personally, I just don't think Saints were fast enough off of that Cosmic Divide. Just stalled by the utility a little bit too hard there from Puffy's Killjoy. Oh. Now Sushi up mid with the Judge. There's one detained. He's able to find it. Take up hiding behind this box in the corner. Shut down by four tapping. After a scuffle at mid, MSU down two players. Saints looking towards A. Yeah, St. Clair, you know, they love this gun a lot in these situations, knowing that if you're able to get in there, get busy with it, you can find a lot of value about it. Wasn't really sure if St. Clair had a law school when I was looking at possible programs, but apparently they've been training these magistrates to be the judge of this situation. 
<laughs> I just see you know, Bundy's I, reaction. How do I miss your puns again. sometimes? You know. <laughs> Nonetheless, yeah. What is this frog. skin? That's a. He's got he's got the frog the phantom. Spline? Is yeah, it's the spline. It's the frog phantom. Yeah, and it works. The M's pretty good. It kills Caillou, but nonetheless, two v three situation. Four tapping finds another three K frog though. Trying to find revenge here. The stars have predicated that potentially this is the way for frog to get back in here. But Dang. ten HP and a dream. Another peek from heaven, why don't you? M is finding that last kill of the round. And it was messy, but it is another round victory for the side of the Saints. Yeah. Seth in the back there, though, he finds that 140 dink. He's like, I'm never buying a Phantom again. Yeah, Switch me to the Vandal. That's me every single time. But in all seriousness there, 10 to 6 right now. MSU, you found the one round, but this economy has been tough on the defense. And realistically, Saints, the one round they lost was the one round they tried to be explosive, tried to be aggressive. Clearly, they can find amazing picks. Sushi has been instrumental to that at the starting of these rounds. Even if he gets traded out, four tapping usually Ooh. good for those kills after Sushi falls or uh -oh. Caillou, one of the players here. So if you just play your defaults, play for picks, Saints, I could see you having a lot of success here. MSU doesn't have much resources to work with. Yeah, he's I, got the whole bundle there. Oh man, it's the frog bundle. I thought, you know what? He's, he's probably got all green Actually, skins. Actually, yeah, going. I guess his name, his is, name frog. is frog. I didn't really take that in. Yeah. But there's an actual frog bundle from a battle pass, though. Polyfrog. Listen, he's got to use all of those. Uh, uh, maybe we haven't seen all the guns yet. We've got to we, we got to keep the deagle. We got to see the deagle. You know, when you name yourself after an animal, you gotta you know really stick it to them. Mm -hmm. There, I'm pretty sure like Mizzou who might uh, also be one of those opponents that they face if they get to nationals. They've got someone named like Peggy and Froggy or something. You'd think they've got the Divine Swine put on the list there and there as well. Swine, first Not pick, second kill going to come through from Caillou Frog. Holding this Whoa! on the side, he is able to hit that headshot, but it doesn't take long for him to be found out. Two <laughs> players left coming from A there. Ricky James Bond. Okay, this is kind of scary to be honest. Ricky James Bond with a Sheriff can easily find one. Yeah, Puffy's got the shorty as well. Oh, we're going to get pulled in, though. They're going to get found out. Now all vulnerable up. Seth doesn't even need to hit the head there to spray and pray. Ricky James Bond trying to find the 007 within them. Lurking around this corner. For being real, James Bond, not really one for killing that much in the movies. He's more of like doing the dirty work, getting in there, finding those plays. Kind of interesting that they're playing Sage, but in this yeah, situation, just if gonna anything, try you need a fight. ghost, Ricky James Bond. Come on. Yeah. Man. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, one one v four, trying to make that retake with the sheriff. You're almost just praying that they don't know where you are, but at the same time, there's only so many angles you can come from. What are you gonna do? Eleven rounds secured from the Saints. Two off of that victory. One off of that match point. Sushi. Got a ton of extra cash in the pocket and the blade storm there, so he's just going shorty this round. Yeah, this is an interesting angle for MSU. They're going to try and go for this full buy. They need to try and find a round wind at the very least because you go to 12, you're really risking your entire game here. With what is likely the case, this was MSU's map pick, I want to assume, because, you know, Saints getting on the defense early, but Su Sushi just dropping down all these knives, throwing him into the face of Cactus. Ricky James Bond able to trade it out. Caillou finds one on the opposite side here, and they're pushing aggressively into B once again. Caillou with 30 HP, just going to try and find some lurkers. They might have found the timing, though. Frog, you heard the reload there, but it wasn't enough. Caillou finds another. Well, now they can just rotate back to A. That's the beautiful yeah. part of mid on split here. You drop yeah, that cosmic divide as well. Now it's up to Takeup and Puffy. All you've really oh. got to work with is a lockdown. Takeup, never mind. You got a blast pack to find that kill. And he's doing it with a Vandal too. Typically you see the Phantom when raises like to play like this, but Takeup showing us a whole new type of raise here. Roomba is going to go out, spots out one. It's just a long range spot on four tapping, but it's actually Caillou up top. Puffy finishes him off with oh. that Phantom. Gonna have to make these reloads soon, but it's 2-3-2. Two, oh. two. M's in the corner. He sees both of them go elbow. He oh. knows he can just hold it from heaven. Take it with the headshot there. Four tapping? Four tapping, one V2. Go. This spike is being held. He shuts him down. It's only half. Puffy has to find oh. this kill. Four tapping. He's going to be shut down by Puffy and the turret, and Puffy finishes that one off, keeping this dream alive, keeping MSU from that uh, that dreaded match point situation. I mean, you never want to be looking at 12 on that opponent scoreline there. MSU saving themselves, bringing themselves forward into this game. But once again, take a look at those buys.
Still full buys coming through from St. Clair, MSU. Ugh. It's it's a little rough it's around the edges there. It, it is a buy. Out of it, all of them, it's one. It, it, they, they have some agency there. Frog going to be really the only one who's forced back. Very likely onto the Froggy Spectre as well, but... Yeah, it's green. Look at this. Everything they have is green. Everything he has it's is just green. everything is green regardless. I gotta respect that. You, you, you're committed to the cause at that point, but Seth already lurking up here. That last round, though, Jacob might have taken some playbooks out of baseball with it back in session. Went through the stop sign, was able to find that kill in the Seth, but Seth enacts their revenge with that kill. Sushi finds one on the opposite side, and this is trouble here. Cactus with the extra man on site there. Seth falls, but M's just lurking. Yes. Every single round has just sort of found these lurks as multiple members get yanked over to the opposite side of the map. It's just M's calm, cool, collected, opening up the opposite side of the map, and that's exactly what they've done. Sushi gonna get pulled in for a little bit there. This is the Nightfall coming down as well, though. Cactus gonna find it with Puffy. Puffy going alive here. Cactus as well. It's going to be a 2v1 once again for M's. Finds that spike, but can they find the members as they double up towards heaven? Saints have just been torn apart these past few rounds by some of these defensive holds and after finding early picks to Seth double dipping a little bit at the starting of the round not gonna help out too but now uh oh M's in this 1v2 this is to bring your team to match point frog and cactus just hold this down back elbow there 20 seconds to play yeah, M's just holding as long as possible, trying to save as much sound as possible. That's the alarm bot down. They know exactly where they are. You've got to try and fake the plant. You don't have a whole lot of time. This star's going to be pivotal. That's one that's one, two picked up by M's. Oh. What was that? Oh Is that legal? No. No, no way. No. no way. Has to be like, what? Fakes that plant, sees a concussion, knows the pusher's going to come through, immediately goes for that swing. And it's that split second decision on that swing from M's that gets him that first headshot and makes it so that second player has no, f not even a frame to trade that. Yeah, one stream back and already, you know, on the precipice of even some of those words we're not supposed to use on broadcast. That was so clean coming through from M's. My goodness. And now on map point for the Saints here. It's not going to be a clean buy coming through from MSU. They don't really have a lot in the inventories. That lost bonus that they'd stacked up that afforded them that previous buy when they were down 11 to seven, not going to be in their favor this time around. They threw everything at that last round. And now you're looking at sheriffs, you're looking at stingers, you're looking at maybe one vandal here or there if someone's able to afford it. But nonetheless, it's not going to be good looks from the side of MSU. They're going to have to really play towards their strats this time out at the last second. That's basically all they've got yeah you've got one more round to play essentially you have to put it all on the line here msu and this timeout is going to be pivotal they have to come up with some strategy that is just gonna like five head over the saints right now because the saints they're playing stronger they're M's right now is winning 1v2s with no utility to his name and msu have had amazing rounds and everyone from this team as well, Frog, Puffy, the like, Takeups, everyone has really shown they can you do it, run. even with some eco weapons. Now, you just have to put it all into place here, and you got to play near perfect defense. Yeah, you know, it's, it's Sheriffs. It's not the best buy. Once again, they're just blasting through here. Take up on the opposite side. Just gets a shot down. Gonna be one traded back, though. Puffy with that one rifle. Fine. Three up mid. Gonna be healed back up. It's a res coming through as well. 2v5 situation. MSU Green are throwing everything at this because they have to. It is essential for them to hold on to this game. And now all of a sudden, Saints are on the ropes here. They've got to find some angles for themselves for tapping though. With the tightest of angles there, gonna try and escape out. But M's for tapping. These two players, the EU geniuses, not quite gonna have enough. Puffy will not get the chance at the ace this time around. Cactus clears it up. But nonetheless, MSU Green take a timeout. Find a very strong win in return. Yeah, forget the ace this round. It's 12-8. Puffy, you got more chances right now. You've got a lockdown in the back pocket moving forward as well. As of right now, Puffy just saved the game for MSU Green. Realistically, that plant comes through should the Saints have found a pick or two down mid. And I 
don't think the retake is nearly as strong. You don't have two players to fight out M's there. You don't have three players to flood out Heaven. And you kind of just get these two players who get to hold angles. We've seen how well the players playing a defensive angle this game have been able to fare. Whether it be M's, Puffy, 4-tapping, Frog, any of them have just been so solid when it comes to people pushing their angles. The biggest issue here as well for the side of Saints is that this is their final buy in a lot of ways. They want to try and end the game here right and now. now, else they are going to another save round, else they are potentially giving more opportunities for MSU to just get that momentum in their favor. And this plan here, 5v5 full retake going to come down for MSU. They are not risking anything. They're using everything on this round to try and find the round. Sushi, oh, gets shut Take down though. It. I oh, didn't man. even see take up in the corner there. And now three kills have come through in the blink of an eye. Ricky James Bond, good for two of them. This is going to be a cosmic oh. divide. Responded from MSU Green. Ems gets traded out by Puppy Sep as oh. well. Sep down in the corner. It's all falling apart for the Saints right now as they finally get that cosmic divide execute they've been waiting for. And it's not going to be good. MSU came out swinging once that 12 score was hit for the Saints and they are not slowing down right now. Saints, like you said, they kind of just have to wait out another round. They have to play out the save round. Yeah, obviously you're gonna try to win it, but you're just waiting till your next buy round comes around. Yeah, I, I think the major thing in that round as well is the fact that the Killjoy ultimate so well placed and they were watching it. They were keeping in mind that Sushi could be around that corner, prevented Seth from sitting inside that Viper ult, preventing them from getting more space. And Seth was forced back into a corner. There was a little bit of a corner left on A site, but it just wasn't enough. You know exactly where Seth's gonna be. You can spray it down. You throw down all your util there, nonetheless. Ricky James Bond once again been holding up mid for this entire round. Saints are wanting to play fast this time around. This time on a little bit of a grim wall way up in the sky there for a second. Kind of back off this play, but the weaponry advantage definitely in favor of MSU. You can see how quickly and how without care, without abandon, the side of the Saints are playing. They just want to find everything, but they aren't checking their corners. Puffy finds two, three once again finds three. On that same oh, corner, man. three rounds in a row they've been shut down, whether it's Takeups or Puffy holding that box. Saints get so aggressive. This has happened to Sushi multiple times at these entries at the start of these rounds. He pushes forward, gets a little too greedy, chasing down one pick, and there's somebody right on his other side, staring at his back. A beautiful crossfire from MSU to finish that Ooh. one off. M's in a bit of a uh, sticky situation here, but the Stinger might help out. Not enough ammo to make it through, though. Frog finishes that one, 12 to 10. MSU not out of this game just yet. Yeah, you can see Fortap and M's there just having a little bit of a chuckle at that one. They got one back. Hey, you forced them to buy one more. But the economy for the side of MSU, it doesn't matter at this point. You know, you've got enough credits to buy for everyone else back up. And now, 12-10, if you drop this round, you're going to be forced to buy up again. And then we're potentially looking at overtime. It wasn't looking like that would be the situation. But three rounds in a row, MSU Green have been the ones on the aggressive. They've been the ones to find these early picks. They've been the ones to take these engages on their terms. And Saints, they just need to play a little bit slower, play a little bit more patiently because they've been playing with reckless abandon and they've been punished for it three rounds in a row. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, they've just been playing too, too W key heavy, let's say. You know, they, they've had a lot of these rounds where they play their slow games. They get onto the site with a few picks. They get the post plant and they take it. But at the same time, these past few rounds, it's almost like they're too hungry for that uh, number 13 on the scoreboard there because they're just just getting aggressive. And right now, I love to see this start of the round. Sushi, crouch walking through mid, clearing every single... That corner right there has lost Sushi his life in like five rounds. Seeing him clear that just warms my heart. <laughs> I mean, spray down on this wall too. Ricky James Bond, they know there's at least... You know, a Sage set up towards Ooh, this heaven area. With a judge. Yeah, Sage with a judge. A little scary. A little scary. Yeah, Shotgun Sage is back and with a vengeance, obviously. Nonetheless, you can see this is a more calculated round coming through from the Saints. They're looking towards this A site. But look at how many members are in that heaven area on B. Three of them just for M's, who is trying to sniff him out with the potential here. Seeker's going to come down. This is going to give up the play, but Puffy with the Odin. Are they going to find it? Yes, they find one on the Sushi. But are they finding anyone else? They're aiming. They're trying to find anyone. Four tap and shuts it down. The plant will get finished by St. Clair here. And they have the numbers advantage here. Frog. 
Look at Takeums now too. He's CT Ooh. worrying about two separate sides here. Has to continually watch his flank just in case M's oh. pushing for tapping and Seth start to finish him off. Cactus, you got 33 health to your name. You got to try and make this defuse. It's not going to happen. There it is. The Saints, they wait out the rough ecos. They wait till their next buy round and they take that one. First map, their split. Going to be going their way 13 10. Yeah, honestly, fantastic stuff coming through from them. They were able to hold their composure, especially after a little bit of a late round comeback from the side of MSU. But nonetheless, Saints showing that they have that composure. They have that experience that we've been talking about for so long. They've developed this roster to stay strong under the pressure. They've had a lot of very difficult series this year. They've had a lot of ups and downs as a team, but overall it comes down to if you can stay composed, especially against teams that are very strong in MSU. While they may not be your top teams, they're still strong enough to make top 16 regularly. Yeah, they're still the 16th seed yeah. in the bracket, right? You know, Saints being first seed and everything. You know, it's still the top 32 teams of the entire region, right? That's what you got to remember. Like, once you make it into something like CVAL, once you make it deeper into these playoffs, no round is going to be easy, to say the least. Yeah, and I think that with them able to hold their composure, they will be able to sort of take that as their victory, go on to Ascent next, and potentially just try and close the series out. But it comes down to your strategies once again, and if MSU just come out with those better strategies, I wouldn't be surprised if they're able to take a map off of them. Yeah, and Ascent is a map that they have been looking absolutely beautiful on. You talked about them starting on the defense. Obviously, they are going to start on the wow. defense on every single map here. This series should be make it to game three there. But nonetheless... Ascent, just from the Saints in general, has been looking beautiful. And I know you said, I know Ascent is technically more of an even map than Split. I still feel like defense is really, really strong on Ascent. Obviously a little bit more even, but I think it's still really strong. We're going to have to see if uh, the attackers from MSU can really change something. They're going to go back to, uh, say, a bit of an older Ascent comp. We don't see the fade on Ascent very, very often because the Sova... It has been just labbed out to oblivion on this oh, map, yeah. and every single lineup that could ever be known is probably known at this point. And uh, it's just going to provide a lot of utility towards that B site. The drone's obviously going to be beautiful, but the big thing is the Hunter's Fury to counter that lockdown. Saints are going to have that MSU. No way to shut down that lockdown other than just pushing it. Yeah, other than throwing multiple grenades yeah, at it. Shell, something like it that. Paint shells, the showstopper, the frag grenade from KO as well. You're going to have to throw a lot more in those situations. Ricky James Bond looking for someone to give the spike. Sort of looking at the teammates, now staring at the ground. What's going on there? Oh, he's, he's going for a lineup. He's a lineup Larry. That's what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Lineup, pixel for pixel. Start this off. I actually want to see where that knife lands now. I want to see what they're kind of playing for here because the setup on attack starts towards B, but they're all kind of looking out tiles, right? So realistically, they're looking for some kind of mid control. I see that star around Cat as well. Possibly flood through their own Astro Star head of Cat. We've seen it from more than yeah. a few teams. And that clears out market there. They know Caillou is there. Going to be suppressed for the flash. time being. Great flash coming back the opposite way from four tapping just to quell that aggression. And Sushi just around the corner. But everyone sort of rotated over towards mid, towards B. They've left Killjoy alone on this A site. They'll have to try and find the angle. Seth has been so good on Killjoy in the past here. Look at this angle. The blind up to multiple members. It does not matter. Puffy able to find one. But it's the trades going back and forth, back and forth. Wingman out. Wings is going to be down way in enemy territory. That's not going to be recovered by Caillou there. Yeah, I would take a... It would take. Uh, you have to be alive as well. It would take some effort, yeah, to say the least. That would probably <laughs> help. Nonetheless, I mean, right now MSU, they've made it on with player advantage. They've gotten that spike down, and you know this pistol, pistol play. We've seen almost every team do it. Just flood out cat, go into tree, make your way onto A, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't. You oh. Move towards that next round. Sushi drops down. He's going to take out Cactus as the trades go back oh. and forth. Four tapping makes his name known in the pistol round as he's going to find two headshots. Ricky James Bond oh. shuts him down with the right click. Ricky James Bond for three. The clutch plays on pistol round and he's going to take that first one. MSU Green, I think they're what? 
One for two for three on pistol rounds now. They've been pretty good on pistols. You know, Ricky James Bond looking like Pistol Pete out here, firing down the three-pointers with the 3K, able to find a nice round win for his team against all odds in a lot of ways. Was not expecting that to come down. Now, of course, Saints going to be forced back a little bit. We saw this once again in game one. When they started on the defense, they lost the feel of those pistol rounds. They were forced to give up that anti-eco. They were able to sort of get their composure back before sort of evening everything out. But nonetheless, we'll have to see if that comes to fruition once again, because as it stands right now, you got to try and find some of these picks. You want to take those guns out of the inventory each and every time. We're going through the same song and dance. You lose pistol, just take as many guns away as possible. You're not expected to win the round. Yeah, so a lot of util users to clear out Garage, Prowler, and I believe a paint shell was burnt as well. I don't know, he is going to still have that paint shell. Roomba clears out the corner. Raise pretty well out of utility, but has made it over towards that switch. Realistically going to be closing that garage door as Ems pushes through with that shorty. He's going to be shut down by two players. It's the force from MSU working out so, so well for them. Nice little extra round after your pistol as the Saints are going to be Five stuck times. on this retake. We've seen this more than enough times here. Sheriff versus Spectre. Most likely that Spectre going to pull through and Puppy and Cactus finish off that flawless round. 2-0 for MSU. Saints once again. Rerun it back. Round three, you've got your rifles. This is your round to win. This is your round to take. And MSU, you shut them down. You are looking good right now on your attacking side of Ascent. Yeah, and honestly, it's been everyone from the side of MSU sort of contributing here. Frog finding a couple more kills. Puffy as well had a really rough start to that last map there. This time around, getting a couple more of those frags in tow. But of course, as you mentioned, it's the game sort of starts at round three for a lot of these teams. You draw a pistol, okay, whatever, forget round two. Now the game is up and we're ready to go. Sushi. Finding the right to wine, but they've actually been spotted out here. All this util going to be dumped down onto them. They have to push aggressively, but Takeup finds it with the paint shells. Four tap and Takeup, though, finds three already. This raise is having a day for herself here. On to site incredibly quickly. And now Saints have to try and retake once again. MSU's uh, attack on Ascent here has been near flawless. Yeah, I, I mean, you cannot knock the results right now. Every single entry seems to be good for a two for one, a three for one, whatever it may be. Sushi caught in wine there. He's not able to find any. There's a lot of damage onto a few of these players, though. Takeups is going to be fairly low, possibly sprayable by M's here, but. It looks like they might just be thinking about, you know, taking these rifles towards those next round because it's all you really have to your name right now. Yeah, I think that's the play here. They're going to try and catch some exits if anyone opts to go through mid. Yes, there's a couple of low members there, but what can you really do in that situation? Everyone's just going to sort of squat up, make sure no one's falling. M's might be able to peek out a couple here. They He's get just going to look too for greedy. one, possibly, but everyone's just going to move nah. towards that attacker's spawn. They're not going to peek top peaking. mid, knowing these players are saving. Yeah, nonetheless, it's a very much reminiscent round to what we saw from MSC round four last time. They saved a couple of those rifles, and somehow they were able to sort of recuperate, get themselves back in the driver's seat. I think the major thing as well is all of them have those full shields, so they'll be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the enemies in any situation. But of course... Not going to be the most ideal situation. Caillou still actually managing to afford a Phantom for themselves. So it's not the worst of buys for tap and just going to be the one IGLing, staying at the back, making the sh shot calls and not really looking for any of these gunfights. Yeah, waiting to see what his oh. buy is going to be. It's a stinger it's in a hand. Yeah, he's going to force that up. I mean, be on the same eco as the rest of your team, I guess right? so, yeah. If everyone's... If you're going to have two rifles, another player buying up a rifle, you might as well put everything into your hands. And with 3-0 on the scoreline right now, you don't really want to drop another round. You know, we talk about, you know, I talked about a Saints defense looking really strong on Ascent. Right now, MSU picking it apart every which way, mostly off the back of takeups and some amazing entries from this raise. Yeah, and just slowly but surely, you can see MSU finding space for themselves. And this is what they've been very good at in both maps. They've been good at finding space. They've been good at finding their executes at the right time. It's just been down to the gunfights that sometimes it is SCC coming out ahead here. Caillou, this is going to be such a difficult hold. There's multiple members there. Wingman going to be going out as well. The crunch comes down. Takeup finds four tapping. And now Caillou has to just sort of evacuate, find a different angle. Sushi gets taken down. Caillou able to trade out on the frog, but Puffy is at the scene of the crime. M's 
And Saf once again left with the pieces to pick up here. 4v2 situation, this is not ideal. As Saf actually finds one, Jacob gets taken down, but the turnaround, it's Puffy. 1v2 situation. Ricky James Bond has a sliver of health. This is possible for Saf. They've just got to find their aim, find their man. And you got to know somebody's playing under in mm -hmm. some sense. He's actually crouched down. Right beside those stairs, those boxes oh. that you use. Sep finds one. Gotta clear it out. Oh. He spots him out. Jenny, thank you, Turret. But Puffy, when you need it, he is there. 3k from Puffy. The 1v1 shuts him down. Puffy. I, it's like we don't see his name for four, three to four rounds or half a map if we're talking about split. And then suddenly just absolutely takes a round for MSU. Big place from Puffy there. He's got 7K in the bank. That's how many kills this guy's been grabbing. Yeah, and also just not dying. That's a That's huge a big part one of it too, as well. Yeah. Nonetheless, you know, down to those slim margins for the side of St. Clair in that situation. And unfortunately, MSU just able to play their positioning a little bit better. I think that when they're in this pose plan, MSU are so confident. Maybe this is time where SCC needs to pick up the pace a little bit there. St. Clair need to try and push more aggressively, look for some of these 1v1s that they might not be expecting, as opposed to consistently playing all the way back on the defensive. But Sushi, this is not advised unless you're able to find one there with the Stinger. Hiding back out behind here. This is an aggressive play. Ricky James Bond able to find it on the Ceph as well. But look Big at how quick shot. they push through. Four tapping here. Puffy and Frog, though, able to retaliate in kind. Sushi needs to run for the fences. Has that ultimate. But 2v3 situation, definitely more winnable. Granted, with the health left or alive, might still be a situation. Sushi, 46 HP against the double rifles here on the opposite side. He hears them rotating out. Can he find the timing, though? Sushi can't make any noise in this situation. That's the thing. You can't drop a single footstep. Oh! He does find the timing onto Puffy. Now he's turned it into a 1v1. He's gotten Bladestorm available. He spots out Frog hopping back and forth, leaping around. Now he's going to move towards oh no. this Arches Sushi. You have no idea. That's the rotation he made, and Frog's going to shut him down. 5-0 right now from MSU Green. These Saints just don't know how to deal with this attack right now, and MSU has been playing so, so well, and just every time it seems like the Saints are close to grabbing hold of a round win, it's flipped on its head, whether it be from Puffy or Frog. They're going to do it. MSU showing out right now in game two. Yeah, and honestly, some of these teams from the States are coming back off of spring break right now. Obviously, it feels as if they're good, ready to go back to school and they're ready to take St. Clair to school as well. These strategies have been very strong coming through from them. They've had incredible executes on the attacking half thus far on Ascent, and it's sort of just about calming St. Clair down. They know that they can play this map. Ascent been in the game since it was a competitive game to be yeah. played. You know that you have to just trust your strategies, trust your teammates in this situation. What will they be able to do as it moves forward here? You can see them really discussing this, go into the drawing board saying, hey, we just got to cool our jets a little bit, make sure that we're playing as a team. Yeah, that's the big one. Not get like picked out for no value in return. We've seen that at the starting, especially from Takeups here. He's been so good at finding two to start off around the saints are just playing so far behind every single round you're down players from the moment it starts and already being down weaponry and a lot of these is not going to help either sushi i kind of forget that that last round was an eco round though because right now the saints are going to be on a buy obviously loss bonus going to be helping out with that as well Saints, you really just got to find one, try and bring back some kind of momentum. At this point, you're praying for your own 7-5 half, maybe. Yeah, you want to try and bring it back in any way, shape, or form. Take it, though, aggressively with the Satchels, Look once again, satchels. moving forward. And this site, already in favor of MSU. Granted, this is a better retake angle. Look at how many Thrash people are line. back towards A main here. Thrash coming through. The land shark has landed. He's and it's going to be Ricky James Bond on the menu here. The Killjoy oh, lockdown comes down as well. Take him able to take down Seth. And now all of a sudden this site going to be sort of locked down for the time being. Frog, take him. Everyone's getting in on the fighting here as well. Caillou able to reply with another one. But the timer is on. The time is ticking. You need to find the executes. Take up with a 3k. And Caillou with 33 HP to their name says, I don't want any of this situation. Another round win for MSU on the back of St. Clair's timeout. MSU Green, they cannot be stopped on this attack right now. Another save round gonna have to come through as this spike 
Gonna get a little bit closer to finding that detonation, but they're hunting. MSU does not want to leave Caillou with this rifle. You know they're expecting him in one of these corners. They won't make it there in time. Yeah, won't be able to sort of clear out the entire cache there, but nonetheless, I think they might be a fight force coming through from the side of St. Clair here. Yep, exactly the case. They know exactly what they need to do. Sushi with the knives. Everyone else going to be pulling through with some sort of weaponry. They've but got thus far, a large loss bonus at this point. Too, yeah, where it's, you, you have the facilities to make that. Yeah, you have the facilities to make it happen, but you'll want to start winning rounds. 100%. 100%. you got to start winning rounds with this at some point. You, you know? need to start winning rounds because 6-0 is a devastating scoreline to start off with. You're looking at at the very best an even half at this point, and that is if you take this round and the next five just dominantly. Yeah, you'd have to at this point. M's trying to hold it down B long here. A little bit of util being used by the side of MSU, and they're actually going to go for the execute here. M's going to get a little bit of damage out with that shock dart. Oh, take up in close quarters here. The Ares can find some value. Where is that Omen ultimate going, though? The spray Steve comes out in time. The team. Oh, Ems finds it. That's that headshot from the air. Oh. Make it two. The trades come through, and it's not going to be good enough for MSU. Whoa. Did, is that all they needed? Just M's to pick up an Ares instead of a Phantom? I mean, like, where, <laughs> where were those headshots in the past few rounds? But nonetheless, one to six. They've broken that donut oh. on the score line, but msu surprisingly after six rounds straight you're not hurting for cash yeah you won't be hurting for any money at this point you've got another couple of buys potentially in the bank as well of course the main thing i'm curious about is sushi finally picking up that operator let's see what they can do what angles they can hold they can catch msu by surprise here because you got to start finding multiple rounds in a row you need to start putting msu in the dirt here they had you in the first quarter of this one you gotta slow it down now try and find a little bit more composure we talked about their experience we talked talked about their pedigree. They just need to live up to those expectations because th this is their last chance to qualify for nationals. They need to win this map. Yeah, you have to take it. You have to take this map if you're looking for it. Six to one right now. Slow Ooh. start. This operator oh. is online. Spot so to leg, spot so to shoulder, but take him is somehow alive as he smokes now. Just gonna wall out Sushi Sushi. All this utility being Oof. dumped top mid as now you've gained a little bit of intel. You know that there's players oh. mid. You hear this push tree. You've got Caillou and Sushi now rotating all the way over towards A. Yeah. Spike and, and the Astra, they're going to pop out of Ooh. main there. Now this is going to be the plant to come through. Hunter's Fury to cancel that one out. Caillou, Caillou finds one in the commotion. Oh. Finds two. Is there more on site to be had? Four tapping finds oh. the one from under. Puffy's good for that trade. Cactus being sprayed down by Caillou, but 26 health left. Not much left. Spike Carrier killed. Spike down on A and Puffy, the last line of defense. Yeah, Puffy's going to have to peek into the operator at some point. Sushi, we've seen this player enough. He don't miss in those situations. The Saints find a second one on the board. It looked like chaos on the site there for a little bit. But once again, St. Clair able to rise above the chaos, find themselves that round win. A timeout now taken from MSU. They're saying, hey, hold on here. We're not going to let you get any more rounds in a row. Exactly. And sometimes the timeout, right, obviously... Yes, you're planning for your next few rounds, but sometimes it's just to stall that momentum, right? Just give give Saints or four Saints to cool off for a second or two, right? They've won these rounds pretty dominantly. That was a very nice show in there on the site from Caillou. You know, someone who's who MSU, keep in mind, has consistently picked off Caillou at almost the start of all of these rounds and haven't let that gecko really put make their mark on A. Because Dizzy has been a huge run, right? You've seen Takeums in a few of the clips get blinded by that Dizzy, still make it through somehow. But if you're able, if you're able to get Dizzy off, you're able to blind up maybe two, three people at the start of a round while an entry comes through. It just causes chaos for that attacking team. Yeah, and I think that this utility that can come down from the Gecko in general is Mm -hmm. Sort of understated in a lot of ways. Yes, everyone thinks that Wingman's the cutest thing to ever exist. You yeah, know, shout out Wingman. Honestly. Wingman, Wingman's the real homie. Yeah. Change the Discord profile picture to that. Wing Wingman's gonna be the profile picture for a while. But you know, gotta love what they've got in store. But you know, 
it's also just the pressure that Wingman's able to put down. It's not just the fact that Wingman can be really cute and diffuse the spike or plant the spike for you. It's the fact that it'll go for those stuns and you can pick it back up. It's this That's reusable yeah, utility. Just has that intel piece as yeah. well, because you can use it, get that plant, reclaim it, and then you just have a free drone for the rest of the round. Shout out Wingman to that, the recurring nightmare of every defender. Any multi-use utility as well is just so difficult to deal with. Ricky James Bond, though. Oh my goodness! Microwaved up and a little bit of... Mm. I think those, like, two pot shots that ended up landing from Seth were actually just enough to kind of slow down the movement and keep him in that nano right there. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, toaster was put in the toaster in that situation. Definitely not going to be seeing Ricky James Bond up in this round. No Sage this time to potentially resurrect the Mechanical Menace. He would have been the, re he would have been the Sage anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, he would have been this. You never know, whatever the that's case true, is. Nonetheless, true. you can see slowly but surely they're starting to find some more angles. Now the push towards A here. Four members are already on the scene. They've used this to sort of scout it out. An interesting use of that Nightfall to say, hey, listen, we might go here. Yeah, I guess, and then yeah, it would hit and then pop, right? And you would know exactly how many players are towards that site. Back. I think it only landed on Caillou if the minimap was, uh, you know, accurate to my eyes there. But it looks like it's just going to be this full swing out. They don't Ooh, know. They didn't clear logs. They don't know that Seth is logs Ooh. right now. That's one. That's two. He's blinded, but it could be more. Ems is going to finish off Frog there. Last player market right now. <laughs> Caillou spots him out. Dizzy going to be given a little bit of an assist there. You know, make it harder to shoot back. Caillou finishes off that Killjoy with ease. Now we're six to three, six to four, if I'm not mistaken. Six to three here. Saints, three straight. Trying to keep looking for this. It looks like MSU might have something available. Yeah, they, they yeah. do have enough to maybe make this force. The question is, does Frog want to do it? Because you also have two players with just about over a thousand to their name. So it looks like it's gonna be a, it's half, a five for an axe, half yeah. by four save, whatever you wanna call it here. Oh, <laughs> Kiltra's mad the spikes in the small. Yo, listen, it's a strat. Just gotta chill out yeah, about that like, one. Guys. Yo, do I gotta put my nano bond under that? Nonetheless, you can see Saints once again, just holding these angles. It's very default as it stands right now. Puffy with that uh, wonderful green screen stinger. Just trying to find anyone who lurks up a little bit too far with the help from that fade. Slowly but surely, they want to push forward. They want to find the execute onto the site. But as we mentioned, Seth's microwave here is going to be very difficult to contend with. Slow, slow round from MSU, especially when they don't have the weaponry advantage. I'm curious to see as to why they're playing it so slow, because sometimes that might just be them being scared of what St. Clair might have cooked up. Yeah, and one of those things, too, is we've seen on almost every round of save from MSU. It's been take ups, do your do your blast pack lineup, get your way into a site. Let's see what we can get off of that. And right now it's wait a whole minute and then make your execute come through. Now you've given Saints so much time to set up and deal with this. Your 5v5 weapons down MSU. See Ooh. what you can do. Sprays through this smoke are gonna be devastating right now. Maybe spams with the shorty as well. Seth putting down this classic lockdown spot here as Puffy is able to get the plant down. They're going to be safe for the plant at the very least. Oh, They're going to be sure. safe on site though. Seth, three in the same clip right there and he's just going to instantly hop that defuse. Ricky James Bond, a pixel too early. You hit that W key. He's detained up in the end. He was waiting right outside of it. Tried to time himself walking forward with it falling and he ends up being oh. found. He does find one pick back, maybe even grab a rifle for the next one. I mean, hey, that's a that's a little bit of a heist at the end there. Gets away with murder there. Nonetheless, more than enough credits to pick back up for Seth here. And love to see this. You know, Seth now up at the top of that score sheet. It's been, you know, multiple members showing up there. Sushi's been there pretty often. Four tapping and M's were up there last game. Caillou just sort of filling in that middle ground, being that initiator that you need. Four rounds in a row on this defensive side. This is everything in the kitchen sink thrown by MSU here. They need to find this round win if they want to win the half, else they're going to be on once again a little bit of a mixed buy coming in to that final round where, you know, you want to try and tie this up if you're the side of the Saints. You want to find that pushback. Nonetheless, this defense has been rather impenetrable, at least after their timeout. They've been able to sort of calm down, cool the Jets a little bit, and be able to push more 
with, with more organization, I want to say. Mm -hmm. But the question is, is, has that been enough, really? We do see four rounds straight. This is so slow from MSU Green right now. Pretty well the same thing we saw last round, but with full buys in hands this time. They're just waiting out a lot of that Killjoy utility. They did see one Nano Swarm thrown down by Seth, so they've got an idea of exactly where this Killjoy is going to be. Paint Shell's going to go wide into this corner. Not sushi. Land onto oh! sushi finds the one onto Takeums. Another one falls from Seth. Oh! Seth for three once again. Make it four. Finish that one off. I got to say it right now. I don't even care which player you're talking about. Killjoy is just my goat of the series right now because we've seen Ems, Seth, and Puffy all absolutely perform on this agent right here. And it's just, you know, it's just satisfying to see. I mean, you see an execute come through and then you see a 3K in the snap of a finger. Yeah, you know, it's that German engineering there, right yeah. there, just giving the uh, potentially... I don't know, it just seems it's it's something with the agent, as you mentioned. Maybe Killjoy got a buff with the April Fool's patch saying, hey, you know what, she gets aimbot, but it's legal. How about that? <laughs> check PC, check the VAC in that situation. Nonetheless, as we mentioned, the buy a little bit weaker from the side of MSU this time around. And each and every time this has happened for them, they fall into St. Clair, so should be in good shape. Seth has the ult again. Why not drop another one down? They've been having an absolutely wonderful series thus far as well as... You know, after a 6-0 deficit, you're like, hey, this is something to worry about. Now, you see a couple of those dueling lockdowns. This B-site, no one's going to be left alive here. This oh. is an absolute fiesta on the site. Takeup. Oh. if any of those nanoswarms were to be popped, it would have been a death. But Seth popped a little bit before he was able to get those off as now. The Cosmic Divide is down. There's five That's players alive and the spike is planted. This is going to be tough for the Saints, but as of right now, Saints are, I think you got to be happy with this half, even if it goes 7-5. Nonetheless, you want to tie it up. You want to make it that 6-6. Six, six. Pete Frog in the back, though, Ooh. on this flank. you got to keep looking market right now. Oh, my Look goodness. Look at it. Come Frog. through, Frog. The only actually good for one is Cactus is going to finish off the rest. So 1v2 here in Boathouse. Sprays down. Shorty uh -oh. in hand. That jump going to give away a little bit of his position. This Four spike bullets. is uh. ticking. Frog's going to find his second of the round. Finish off the half 7-5. But a beautiful rally from the Saints for five rounds straight. Yeah, good for them to show some life. Come back alive here. And 5-7, to seven, not insurmountable at the very least. They had the 7-5 lead last time around. And of course, MSC were able to come back in that second half. This time around, it's St. Clair playing combat kids here. Of course, pistol win. Gonna give you that chance to tie the game up here. I think that's really you what they're really going for. Need this you, you really need this pistol win, and more so than other rounds. Yeah, and yeah, you talked about last last map, right? MSU coming back, bringing that to that 13-10 after a you know a 12-7 deficit there. Saints, you kind of got to try to do that same thing. But if you win this pistol round and tie it up immediately, you're not worried about that anymore. It's tied up. You're not behind. And you can kind of just play like it's a fresh game, to say the least. Plus, you're going to have you know a little bit of an advantage starting oh. the half off with those two round wins. Take up, though. He's going to give the player advantage over to MSU Green at the starting with that pick. Yeah, just... Once again, these early frags coming through from Takeup are the big difference maker, I want to say. Caillou, though, able to trade it out. Paint Shell's not going to get too much value here. It's going to be some upgrades on the pistols for the four remaining members of the Saints as they go marching in through Tree, looking for that execute onto A site. Puffy, going to have to do something miraculous here. Just going to have to potentially give up that site as well. Look at where the uh, Nanos are as well. They're just in hell. They're not really on site. They're not in the best of spots as Seth and Ems. They find them with their ones. Ricky James Bond. We talked about how good they are in these pistol rounds. What is oh going on? Lord. It's three picked up by Ricky James Bond. But 40 health and a dream. Caillou will be able to shut down the Pistol Pioneer here. Oh my goodness, this guy with the pistol. Just pistol rounds for Ricky James Bond have been fantastic. Yeah, every single pistol round so far, whether they win or lose. Now both teams two and two on pistols, if I remember correctly. So, you know, I, from the starting, it looked like MSU, very strong pistol round team. Somehow the Saints are squeaking these out with some crazy clutches. Got to remember that second half on split where four tapping was able to find those two kills with the frenzy as well. And Ricky James Bond with that classic has just been putting in work now. He's going to be up towards that 
top of the scoreboard for MSU. And off the start here, it's just going to be a slow push into this dark cover. Seth. Oh, Seth. This Ooh, is. That crosser's right there. This is one of those things where X ray is just so <gasps> deceiving. One spotted out by that turret. Seth, you're in a beautiful oh! position for a one tap. Look towards mid. You spot one out. Pizza oh! shut down Ricky James okay. Bond as well. He spots one out behind him. Seth being closed in on from all sides. Not going to be able to win that one. But you've already found two. You're good. You're off the hook, Seth. Four to two Oof. in terms of players right now. Ems takes one from the top of mid with that Vandal. I didn't even realize there were rifles bought from the Saints right now. Sushi, you're in close range. You're not going to fall to Puffy's right clicks today. Seven to seven. Yeah, a little bit of a dizzying end to that one, despite Dizzy being thrown on the opposite side of the map there. But yeah, Seth, employing the Na'vi, I like to call it there, where you don't buy up on the second round, but you trust in your teammates to sort of set that up for you. Often. But nonetheless, hey, Seth found two. You got your two with the ghost. Incredible return on investment there. And now you've got three rifles going in to match up what uh, uh, MSU are able to bring to the table. Yes, there's some light shields, but hey, we've seen teams win world championships off of light shields before. Not going to be too much to their disadvantage. And St. Clair, they want to get the ball rolling. They want to continue the momentum from that first half. Seven out of the last eight rounds have gone in their favor. If they can keep that train going, they'll be on their way to the top eight. Yeah. The thing about light shields, too, as you were touching on, is like in a game of headshots, what is 25 health? It's it's the difference between getting one tap by a phantom or a vandal, yes. But what's that second bullet with the phantom sometimes as well, right? It's just yeah. a game of headshots, oh! a game of speed as Sushi gets a little too fast into Arches there. He's going to peek into three that absolutely mow him down from that A site. Now you're down a player here on your bonus round. MSU showing why those rifles are going to you know, feel pretty good coming into this third round. Yeah, and I mean, the, the reasoning why we've seen teams do that in the past is because, yes, the Phantom, if with full shields, you might live with that 10 HP or whatever, but very likely the Phantom was the only reason why you got that headshot in the first place. If it was a Vandal and they might have missed, you're going to live. Nonetheless, you can find some sort of angles to uh, quantify that. It worked to win a world championship for Fnatic. My favorite team, of course. Don't tell anyone else. Regardless, <laughs> you can see the strategies thus far not working to peak off of this Cactus and Taco able to find two back to back there. And now the time is ticking. I have the, spike. the two EU players here looking to try and secure it up for SCC. Slowly but surely just creeping through. They're going to potentially find the plant here, but it's going to be a fight here with very little time on the clock. The plant is going to be good to go through to 2v3 on this site. Ems under heaven is going to be that player with the rifle. That's going to be the player you're looking for a lot of your uh, main brawl ability here, let's say. But both players now playing under heaven. Ricky James Bond gets on to that plant. Uh -oh. Gets on to that defuse. 20 health. Spray. Ems is so low. One more blast pack. Oh, no. One more anything is going to do the trick. But of course, it's Ricky James Bond to finish it off with a pistol. Nonetheless, eight to seven MSU takes their buy round after losing the pistol and the advance there, and they are going to take the lead back after the tie. Yeah, and there's still a buy coming back the opposite way for the side of St. Clair, so they're not feeling too unhappy about that situation. Mm -hmm. But of course, you it's round three, right? You're expecting that. Yeah, you would have loved to keep that momentum pushing forward. Of course, Cactus going to be the one trying to cosplay Ricky James Bond this round with only the classic in the inventory, unless. Yep, there we Wait, go. No, Take five. a yeah, there you go. Five the homies, you know. Also, Make sure you top everyone up. I just had a weird moment of realization. I I don't know if it's take up or taco B. I've just been reading it yeah, as Jacob with a T, Jacob, but now up, I'm just second guessing B, myself. Taco B. taco B. I can see it. Take mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep saying take up, but take up. Yeah, take up. If anyone wants to correct me, uh, I mean, feel free. But MSU, let us know. Nonetheless, that is something. To Kobe. keep in mind. Oh, Caillou with Thrash. Hop and hop and hop and chasing down the Killjoy. And Puffy is about to be turned into a mannequin. That's all they wrote there. 3v3 three, three, three now as Wingman provides a little bit of an assist to planting down that spike. Caillou doesn't have a whole lot of health. He's going to have to play off of that util as well. Mosh just zoning them out for a little bit. But MSU have the health advantage here. It just comes down to how well they can execute the opposite way. Thrash is going back out again to Land Shark. Here they go, looking like a Garchomp. Not going to be able to find anything there, unfortunately. Thrash's second charge not finding as much. 
But all this util just being put down onto site. MSU need to find a way in. These angles are being held time and time again. Sushi needs to be careful above them right now. Kai gets taken down. Sushi trades out one. Frog with 10 HP falls once again. Sushi is cutting him up, slicing and dicing time. like a master chef. Will not have enough time for Takeup to be alive as the food wars continue. Sushi wins this one against Taco B. <laughs> That's actually amazing there, but... Saints, you continue to tie it up. You play a great post plant. Caillou, I think Caillou made it out alive from that round, if I'm not mistaken. He was sitting there 20 health in the back, just <laughs> tossing out Dizzy, tossing out the Thrash, tossing out the Mosh Pit there. He is using all this utility, and the timing was just played so, so well there. Thrash actually helped out a lot. He spotted out the players CT and Market while being able to just fly around and, you know, get a little bit more, obviously, didn't find the detain on that second one but the thrash also helped them get into sight and shut down puffy detain killjoy not going to be able to use that utility yeah, and of course this buy is a little bit of a mixed bag coming through from the side of MSU. They've reached into the hat, they've pulled out something, and they say that's the gun you're using. There's a Phantom picked up on Jacob. There's a Stinger picked up. There's a couple of other guns here and there. It's not the cleanest of buys from MSU. They're just going to be happy with whatever economical damage they can do with the Canadian dollar already in the state that it's in. The American school trying to make sure that they keep their value in their currency. Yeah, that's got to be the worst one so far, Adam. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. That one hit home a little bit. Been going to the U.S. and uh, that exchange rate oh, not helping out, to say the it's least. It's bad. It is bad. Nonetheless, slow start here from the Saints, actually. This has been one of those, one probably the first round this half where we haven't seen any picks off of this initial 30 seconds. Now close to a minute chunk down in this half as A is looking to be the hit, but MSU definitely knows that. It's going to be the oh, eye man. popped. Not going to spot anyone out from what it looks like. Cactus still waiting here. It's not the best buy either. Yeah, it's looking rough here even for the side of the Saints because they're leaving themselves so much. Or they're not giving themselves a lot of room yeah. for error here. Sushi, hello, check him, PC. It's through the wall. He's spamming it down. That is a cactus taking the brunt of that one. Oh, great peak coming down from Caillou as well. Ricky James Bond not living up to their pistol round prowess there with the classic. And now, take him just sort of left on an island here, trying to find any picks that they can. The Stinger not going to be able to find too much value either. MSU are crumbling under the pressure here. One last member as Puffy falls down. A flawless round, a sweep for the side of the Saints there as they're able to clean themselves up another round in their favor. And MSU are forced to save again. That feels good, grabbing a flawless there as well, because not only do you keep all of your weapons, but look at MSU. Take up grabbing that rifle last round leaves them in a bit of a sticky situation here because yes you have basically full buys but you do have Ricky James Bond with a stinger in hand. Cactus gonna be going B gonna be taking that uh, Sova roll we'll say there at the starting towards garage there. Odin in hand this could be actually like a crux of the round because you look at these players outside of B garage right now. Cactus and Takeup. Takeup gets a little bit of intel here, and uh -oh. Cactus can start spraying. They see the line of spray come through. He's actually not going to be able to get too many bullets onto anyone, and MSU loses a main player on their team with Showstopper available for just about nothing. Yeah, and I thought this was going to be a save round, but they're still able to put together quite a cohesive buy. I believe it really was only Takeup who wasn't able to afford everything yeah, that they so desired. Everyone else has a rifle this time, but the mixed economy, not always the best of situations. Wingman coming down, going to be dropping down the spike. Mosh just to clear out any sort of traps that might have been set. But look at this, very aggressively moving forward once again. Say thank you to little homie. Showed up, Wingman. Caillou looking for the blind. Oh, what an angle. Yeah, the, Granted, Dizzy, Dizzy stuck is on the roof. nuts. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Lining him up, though, Frog. Frog, Frog right two. now. Two wall bang headshots there. Ricky James Bond with the singer, Stinger still in this round. Not done just yet. This Killjoy ultimate, this lockdown, gonna be coming from oh. Seth this time. Cosmic Divide in response. It's actually gonna split off C Cactus from the uh -oh. rest of the team. Bomb is hopped. That's going to be the shock arrow. Last shock arrow in oh. MS's arsenal. The nano oh. is going to work, but Frog trades it back. It's not enough. A 4K to lose the round. Unfortunate for Frog. Saints, they take those. 10 to 8.
that's going to be on a pretty heavy, heavy force from MSU as well. You see this round now, less than 3K from each of these players here. The Saints have cash to work with. Sushi picked up that stinger from one of those dead bodies and was like, all right, I'll keep it because I got Bladestorm to work with this round and 7K in the bank. Might as well at that point. Yeah. Yes, despite Frog's best efforts, despite lining him up like William Tell, firing it down the line. Yeah, that was a beautiful collat. It was a great <laughs> collat, but it still doesn't matter at the end of the day. The spike ticking down, the post plant there, when you've got the kill drone, when you've got the Sova, so difficult to contend with. But nonetheless, this has been fantastic stuff coming back from the Saints here. Just took him a little bit. Six zero. It was 6-0. It yeah. took him a while to wake up a little bit. That quick turnaround between games caught us off guard. Might have caught the Saints off guard as well. But nonetheless, they are now cooking 10-8. to eight. They've got themselves potentially an 11th round on the horizon with how much money or how much of an economical advantage they have over top this side of MSU right now. And they really need to try and hold the line here as much as possible. Keep their composure because we saw them start to falter near the end of that last map. They don't want to do that again. They want to make sure that they are showing the rest of the bracket, the rest of the potential top eight, that this is a team that is here to stay. They're here to stand strong. But that's the question. I mean, you talk about faltering towards the end of the last map and, you know, actually coming back a little bit, you know, towards the end, making their push, falling back down a little bit MSU right now it, just a little inconsistent I mean how do you have such a dominant attacking half to only find one on your defense side so far it's tough to see because we know MSU has the potential all of these players have the potential to take this game 13 10 back against the Saints right now it's just how well are they playing this out we see these tiny little micro whether it be slightly too aggressive whether it be one piece of utility used a little too early and the saints capitalize on that comes from the consistency oh. of the saints from sushi with this blade storm he gets that reset as well got one cloudburst to work with he's gonna pick up a rifle from this player as well shout out wingman planting that bomb caillou getting s spammed out by a marshal here but not too much in response. Yeah, the Sushinator has gone to work, slicing and dicing on the site there, absolutely uncontested, just going right over the top. They there. turned them into sushi. Quite literally. And now Thrash coming out as well. You gotta be so careful. You don't have the damage to match this. Actually, it might get shut down. Frog, don't think they got suppressed, but Sushi just pushing forward aggressively, still has that stinger. Oh, what a flash coming down as well. Sushi, Caillou linking up for a couple more, and it's Caillou cleaning up the rest. It's a full house. Caillou, Sushi, putting it down to work. Put it on a brand, put it on a sign. You're opening your restaurant tonight. That is just magnificent to see. Four rounds straight. You look at the economy, it is absolutely booming for the saints this is a comeback story in this game right now and now you're only two rounds away from this win from moving to that i guess top eight after this round of top 16 here moving forward in c val north here in the spring cup this is gonna be a Big. We got to see how this round plays out. Saints flooding onto this B at the start. It worked last time. See if they can do it again. Puffy on this site. Oh. He tries to make it to Boathouse. It's not going to be good. Marked up is Sushi. 11 health, but they've made it onto the site. This plant is going to be good from Caillou, most likely from Wingman. Yeah, Mosh as well, just zoning them out for the time being. Cactus able to take down Sushi at 11 HP, but here comes the retaliation. Four tapping, gonna find one. Taiko finds it on to Seth. Frog able to find it on Caillou as well. But there's still multiple members alive. No, not so much anymore. Ems taking down a couple. It is only Ems versus Cactus. Sova versus Fade. The battle of the info initiators here. Ems just trying to move around the corner, pinging out exactly where that spike is. Ems, do you have what it takes? Gets spotted out as well. Oh man, Cactus is just sticking it. You have to shoot. You gotta go now. You don't have enough time as MSU. They steal that round under the guise of St. Clair and they finally get one back in their favor. Just a little bit too much time on that drone, but at the same time, with 19 health, you can't risk the peak. Played out very, very well by Cactus there. He finds that defuse and now you're within two rounds. You're definitely back, to say the least, if you're MSU, and that's a big thing to say because you only needed that one round there. Two rounds down, that's, you know, the difference between, you know, one <laughs> one eco round, one more you take, one more round, the Satans are going to be put into a tough economic position for the first time all half. 
Yeah, nonetheless, the, the buy that's coming through here is quite the investment. Won't leave a whole lot of margin for error for Not MSU optimal. come the next round. Oh my goodness, the judge is in the back line. Sushi is cooking up a storm, but Frog is coming back with their own. You cannot make Sushi out of Frogs, apparently, as Frog fights back. Caillou, though, comes through with the Phantom, and now 3v2 situation for the side of St. Clair. Make that a 3v1. They are going to find their way onto site. Wingman, once again, the true homie at the end of all of this, and the only left member left standing is the killjoy from puffy they will have to come up mega here for the side of msu to save this game i'm not counting out puffy just yet we have seen crazier things from the guy in this map alone so we're gonna have to see but at the same time wingman helped so much with this too because nobody even had to entry on site to get that plant none of them left a main and now they are just sitting here microwave oh, no. sitting on the spike first one gonna be popped up a shock dart it's actually gonna go a little bit wide onto puffy there but look at this oh, utility man. dizzy he can't <laughs> see what is happening what are you gonna do puffy in that situation discombobulated from the utility just everything thrown. Where, where do you look at that point? There's a shock dart, you're it's concussed, Overwatch. you've got goop on your face. Like, what, what do you do? What can you do? You, you can't do anything at that point. It's just everything thrown at them. Nothing left around, but by the looks of it, they are on top eight point here. This is them making their stand, getting revenge for the winter tournament where they fell to TMU Blue. In, in this in, exact same round. In, in top very su uh, surprising fashion, I want to say. They were expected to move on. TMU Blue, of course, coming through with a fantastic performance of their own. Great for Canadian Valorant, not so great for Saints Valorant in that situation. But as you can see, Sam's clearing so much space with that Owl Drone. And MSU are going to have to find something. They're going to have to pull it out of the hat here because whatever they've got is what they've got. Thrash going to be coming through. The Land Shark has arrived. Oh, man. It double? gets two on the back of sight. Oh, no, not double. Didn't get anyone. It got shot down. Oh, they're actually alive from it. It has to be reclaimed back there it as can't be well. Claimed. That's not what they want to see. The Saints, that's your one ultimate you have Sushi? for the round two. Oh, Sushi, man. Sushi, though. Oh! Forget about that take of, though. What a shot there. Flick around. Shut him down. That spike down in that corner as well. Seth finds a pick towards mid there. Dizzy going to come out. Spike is grabbed. Take him oh. still only has a sheriff in hand. Oh. The crowd from four tapping. Oh. Going to duck below that. Headshot. Cactus sucked in the oh. corner. Puffy with this stinger. Trying to make those jumping shots. He is able to find one. Ems with the trades back. We're 2v2 two two right now. Ems getting chunked down. Ems, little to no health left to his name. It's Seth stuck in the 1v2 to try and win the series here. This is one more round. Two kills you got to find or let that spike explode let's see where you can go here cosmic oh, divide to block off both house oh the angle oh it's not enough puffy able to pick up a gun upgrade it there and msu they they hold the line somehow they find a way to keep themselves alive but my goodness how tense it was ems taking a little bit too much damage in that 2v2 ended up putting a lot of the pressure onto seth there despite that full buys coming through still the whole economy in their favor uh, what's coming through from it's, MSU? It, it, there's there's going to be rifles. Yeah, there is going to be rifles. I mean, in Aries, we've seen the Aries put in work this game already. And two rounds is not the largest gap we've ever seen. I mean, two rounds, this is very, very overtimeable, well. to say the least, for MSU. But they got to focus on these next two. It's less than stellar buys, but they can definitely make it work. You just got to play it with your strats, play it out smart, and maybe, you know, hope for uh, a couple miracle shots. You're gonna have to at this point. You have to find the round wins by any means necessary. And we talk about the economy. It's not gonna be the cleanest of the buys from MSU Green, but we've seen them come through in these rounds and they've been able to find round wins despite the odds, despite their low buys. Of course, just opening up this round, taking their time once again are the Saints. They want to make sure this is a measured approach once again, we've talked about how good of a team MSU is, but how much better St. Clair has looked, especially over the last couple of weeks. Jacob, though, able to take down Sushi. That's a big kill. Ricky James Bond as big well with start. another one here. This is MSU fighting back with a vengeance. They don't want to go home quite yet. They want to at least bring it to that third map, but will they be able to do so? Seth gets taken down. Caillou able to reply in kind. Caillou on a solo mission at the back there. The Ares, the God of War. 
chunked down once again. 2v3 situation. And here's where Wingman comes in clutch. You toss that down, you get him to plant, and now you still have two members out there. You have one member out there still. Frog gonna be trying to stay alive. Caillou gonna have to ace this one to clear out the round. 91 effective HP to their name. Will Caillou do it? That's the thing. You got one member left, but this is Caillou we're talking oh, about. You've got one player from the side of MSU. The timing. Seriously low as well. The timing on this flank could be big. Takeup turns around. Whoa. He's not going to spot him. They start moving towards this. Nobody spotted on the stairs. Takeup spots one. Frog is defusing this right now. You've got Takeup oh. for the whole. Takeup finds it. That's going to be 11, 12 to 11 right now. MSU green. You are still here. You are still alive in this series and one round away from an overtime run. Oh my goodness. Frog and Take, uh, they survive somehow, somehow, somehow. They're still showing signs of life despite the odds in every situation. And my goodness, this is going down to the wire. Saints, they've been they've been tested here. They've been tested, I think, a little bit more than they were expecting. Mm -hmm. And now, especially in this like map specifically, starting off 6-0 and coming back with a lead, oh, nonetheless in that go. second half. Sushi to start this one off. It's gonna get aggressive here over towards A main. This has been all the action from the past few rounds. A main, A main, A main. Sushi burns up that dash, and now you should run. Pretty well just waiting out oh, man. for they're some of these ultimates. It. They've got two detains online theoretically here as well. Yeah, they're gonna try and use everything in this situation. They know exactly that there's gonna be people hiding out in heaven. The lineups, are they there though? I gotta get a blind coming through, but oh my Mosh goodness! Pit. Everyone just dies all of a sudden. It's a 2v2, Mosh Pit finds two, but the side of MSU, they still hold. They find three in return. Strash is down, Wingman planting. They're going to be able to bring back Thrash to a better position as well, but this is all about the post plant. What sort of sauce do they have? They're spamming it through Frog, trying to find shots down as well. It all comes Reclaim. down to how you can play your post plant. Frog is trying to stick the defuse. Frog is sticking it, will not relent. And MS Green the right spot. are going to take this to overtime. Last That's the defuse of the century. Oh my goodness. And you find the kills at the end too for absolutely nothing, but nonetheless, Overtime, here we are. Win by two. That's the rules of Valorant here in overtime. Find your defense round. Find your attacking round. Take the game. This is going to go infinitely until one of these teams is able to find both of those. And let me say, we've had some long overtimes here recently. Uh, let's yeah, let's you hope, wanna, we, let's hope about we don't it, hit 40, 44, 46 rounds again, whatever it was, but... I'm excited to see this come through because MSU, right now, they're they're surprising me. It, Saints had so much momentum; it looked like it was right all for naught in three defuse rounds in a row. Too Saints have had great attacking rounds. Now you're back on the defense, flip flop it up. MSU found so much value on their attacking side as well. Let's see if they can get back to that, or if they've kind of lost it in the 12 rounds they had on defense. Yeah, the Spartans might have taken a rule out of the Bushido handbook there. Playing like ninjas that last round to find it once again. But Sushi, sushi right now. looking like a ninja of their own. That's three kills picked up. Dashing and dashing around. That's four for Sushi. Drops the knives as well. How about you get yourself a little bit more momentum back the opposite way? Cactus, prickly as they can be, going to stop that ace from coming through. But two members left. It's going to be Seth securing out that round. And Sushi does absolutely everything. Four ra kills in that round. And once again, the Saints are on map point. point. Once again. It's been map point for a while here. 13 to 12. This is where you're going to be tested. MSU has had some amazing defense rounds in these past few in the end of that second half see if they can continue that up to odin's on the side oh, cactus man. and puffy with those in hand you've got an odin oh no double odin b and oh, all of this uh, util yeah. set up this is that's that is gross i'm, I'm not gonna sick. lie yeah, oh, <laughs> man i'm gonna be green after this one no matter what msu does but it's a couple of members already pushing up this double odin might find a way more value than potentially they were hoping for here Oh my goodness. 
One spray down. They don't know that's not Cactus, the, which is the, interesting. The thing is, too, the alt orbs are huge, and the fact that Saints are going to use just one smoke to move forward to grab that orb is definitely going to help out a lot in the end there. As Caillou was able to grab that, that's one more close to Thrash there Seth. for this round, possibly. Seth, he's found his way far up mid here, trying to clear out this market area. You need to clear out these deep corners, though. There's no one there right now, but I, I just need to see it from Seth for, for the confidence in the rest of the round, right? And actually, it's a switch over to A here. They were all able to rotate back. Sushi all the way in the walls here. This is going to be challenging. The double Odin comes to fruition. Puffy finds one, but Sushi once again, first on the scene, finds their kill on the frog. 4v4. Thrash is available as well. This is the importance of those alt orbs. That Thrash, though, will they detain one in window? Believe they weren't able to get him. A Ricky James Bond lines him up, knocks him down once again. Call him bowling. Because that's exactly what they're doing. Four tapping. Just missing out on a call out of their own. Puffy, 47 HP. Going to be enough to hold the line. We're going again. We go again. What is up with these two and three Ks in these final rounds? My heart is pounding out of my chest right now. I have no idea when these rounds are just going to turn in an instant. It all takes one clip, two good headshots, and suddenly MSU that round all back in their favors. Double Odin as well. Coming out pretty clutch. Oh, don't you think so? Yeah, it was just barely that spray and pray at the end. Seems as if on this Sunday, MSU went to church. And they did their confessions. Mm -hmm. They got their prayers answered there as that, oh, those Odins just came through. They came through and they were important when they needed it most. Of course, now we go again, flipping the script as Saints back on the defensive side here. Seth going to be trying to hold this one down, but this is a faster approach from the side of MSU. They're looking to get onto site. The double satchels in. Door next to be closed shortly, but Seth is still left untapped here. Still left without damage. Finds the kill of the puppy through the smoke. That's a huge one. Look, that spike down as well. It's got to be recovered by one of these players, but Ricky James, Ricky Bond. James Bond, he shuts down Gosh. Seth. He's shut down a lot this round. He is able to pick up that spike as well. Start the plant. Is he going to spot out Planter? They know he's planning under heaven there at least. Oh. Ems to find one. Caillou with the trade back. There's one left under heaven. It's Jacob in a 1v3 to uh -oh. save the game. He finds the kill into Caillou. Paint Shell is going to come out. Oh. Reload. That's going to be it. Ems finishes that off. The defuse comes through. That's going to be that first round done here. 14. Saints find that round win, but... They did it once before, now flip the sides again. Attacking round for the Saints. Defense for MSU Green. See where we end up with this. So right now, Sushi having a game and a half for himself right now. 28 kills for assists. You take a look at somebody like look Caillou. 25 and 14 on Caillou and then Four tapping, essentially having the reverse of that, which is 14 and 23. Very, very close there. This team has just been putting out right now. And MSU, they've been good to respond on their own defensive rounds as well. I think Saints definitely had have are having a much stronger defense side in overtime than they were in their oh, first yeah. half, 100%. But MSU currently on defense just seem to squeak it out every time. Yeah, spraying and praying, looking for anything that they can. We talked about how the Odins can be so pivotal in turning around these maps, but unfortunately they're not going to find any dice. Rotating back towards A, this has to be sniffed out early. Cactus, going to break the glass here as well. Interesting yeah. option because it does give potential for the Saints to sneak up there. Frog sitting in the smoke, spotted out with that gunfire noise here. And it's once again an execute onto A. This worked out well for MSU last time. They were able to quell that defense. They were able to hold strong, but 5v5 situation now. Those Odins become a little bit less valuable when it's when it's well known that you've got at least one of them, potentially two of them. Sushi and Hell has bought themselves so much space. This site is barren at this point. Yeah, everyone has oh, been four tapping. off. Four tapping, good for two off the rip as there's players starting to flood out of heaven here. Takeup takes down M's over towards A main. Oh. Takeup with a double blast pack. Oh. Show behind. Four tapping, four tapping through the wall. He's good for three. Puffy. Shut down by Puffy. Oh. The Odin's still alive for this Cactus. team. He's Puffy falls. He's detained from Thrash. That Attack is win. it.
in 2-0 fashion, Saints moving on to that next round of C Val North here. And what a final game we had. Man, it was close. That's all I can say there. You know, it was not easy for them to get past MSU. They had to work tooth and nail to push mm. themselves to the limit there. But nonetheless, hey, you get there. You get into top eight. Now you've got that extra life in a sense. You get to go into that double elimination bracket. And of course, for this team, they want to do nothing except win this entire thing. They've yeah. known that they've had the potential for it for so long. They feel like they can beat Northwood. They're I mean, not going to be... Their first seed, yeah. right? They're, they're they're projected to take this bracket. We're going to have to see in the next, coming few weeks who really takes this one through how this action shakes out. But as of right now, two, two O's in these first few rounds and continually moving forward and just looking better and better. MSU, though, got to give them all credits to that first and second map. MSU tried, were so close to making that comeback to overtime in their first map, just shy of it by a few rounds. And you brought it back to overtime after a comeback responded by a comeback responded by an overtime win in the same map. Yeah, I think the, the major thing to point out there is, unfortunately, that does end MSU's Seavell season. You know, mm -hmm. they... Single elim. elim. It's single elim. They aren't able to get any more points. Unfortunately, they won't have enough points to qualify for that top cut. But of course, we have to keep our eyes on the rest of the bracket because that does influence how St. Clair's performance today, what, what it actually means for them. There is a pretty big matchup between Waterloo and Indiana right now. If Indiana are to fall in that match to U Waterloo, and we've seen how good of a team U Waterloo is as well, that would bode very well for St. Clair's chances mm. at advancing on either points or potentially moving further as well. Nonetheless, there's still a lot of CVAL to be played. We are in playoff season across multiple esports. It is down to the wire for all of our teams. Very exciting after, you know, got to give a shout out to our Rocket League team as well. They went on to CRL Worlds. They did great. Yeah, that was a, uh, they, they had an emotional day oh, to, say, boy. Today, to say the least. We came in here prior to this Valorant game and they are just playing their hearts out in a game seven up against Indian River State College there. And yeah, they they took it. They qualified for that world spot. And I think there was a grand final game for that CRL LCQ going on as well. But both those grand finalists qualified. That's what they're really, really looking for. But nonetheless, yeah, maybe check out the score of that grand finals if you guys want something to do after this. Because that should have been running at the exact same time as this game right here. But nonetheless, I think that's about it for us today. It's been Awesome to have you join me again, Adam, here for some Valorant as well. Can't wait to get back on some League with you as well. We've got a lot of League of Legends in the coming few weeks as well because there's more than a few leagues that that team is in playoffs for. So that's going to be one to keep an eye on. Obviously, Rocket League, just keep an eye out for all of those performances there from Rocket League and everyone in the back that put this production together. Thank you so, so much to them. That's going to be it for us tonight. Any final words before we close out here, Adam, after this day and a half of esports here? No, honestly, super happy to be back behind the mic here. Of course, joined by you. And thanks to everyone at the back doing their jobs, making us look great on camera, making us sound great, making everything look amazing on the stream. But yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, that's going to be it today. Congrats to the Saints on both their C-Val win and their Rocket League Worlds qualification there. Thank you all for joining us for the Saints broadcast today and have a great weekend.